This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Fundamentals. Let's see. Challenge puzzle. Challenge puzzle are lessons designed to stretch your brain. Just do the best you can. All right, I'm ready. Challenge. There will be either a flower or honeycomb under each of the clouds. Collect nectar once if there is a flower. Otherwise, make honey once because there is honeycomb. So it's one or the other. If it's one or the other, we can definitely use an if-else statement. So... Hmm. Let's see. If what? If it's a flower, I would get nectar. Otherwise, make honey. Let's just test this out. And then, oh, let's move. And notice there's the one is gone. So what this does is if at flower, I'm asking the computer a question. Hey, am I at a flower? Because if so, I want to get the nectar. Only one of these runs. So this is an if else statement. If I'm at that flower, I get the nectar, and the next thing I would do is move forward. If I'm not, if I'm at honeycomb, if at flower, the computer says, false, you're not a flower, you're at honeycomb. Well, I don't get nectar. That skips, and I make honey. Always, 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 either I get nectar, and then I move forward, or I make honey, and then I move forward. I never get nectar, make money, make honey, and move forward. It depends. If at flower, if that's true, I will get the nectar and move forward. If at flower false, you're not at the flower, well, then I make honey and move forward. All right, but I need to do this many more times. I'm going to need to move forward twice, and then what? Do it again, right? So if at flower, what do I want to do? Boom, boom. Now what am I going to do? Well, now I'm going to turn right. Now what do I want to do? Well, I'm going to move forward, move forward. If, turn right, and look what I'm doing here. I'm starting to repeat myself already. Move forward, move forward, turn right. Or we can pick a different point. Here, I'm also repeating myself here. Move forward, move forward. Or if at honey. Oh, that's what we're going to do. Okay, we can do it like this. Let's start by actually moving forward twice. I'm getting rid of this because it will work either way. Goodbye to our first one. We'll check it at the end. So I'm going to move forward more forward. Let's try this out just to make sure. Get nectar, make honey because we want to use this else to check and then turn right. Oh, that wasn't enough. Something seemed off. Notice I'm way over on blocks, though. There we are. Okay. So, move forward, move forward, move forward. And then, same thing. Right? So, this is repeating. We should not do this. Instead of doing that, we should use a repeat block. Boom. Boom, and how many times? Well, there's four sides. Okay, now we're still one block over. This is, oof. why would we still be one block over? I only see we, one other spot we could eliminate blocks. I'm gonna pull this out and watch. Move forward, move forward, move forward. Instead of writing that three times, let's use one repeat block, ask the repeat block to move this forward three times, and now we're only using two blocks there. Let's see what this does. And check that last one, and we did it. Awesome. Woo, that one's tough. Let's keep going.